Hey everybody, it's Adam with the Productivity Academy here for a quick uh, pre-Thanksgiving uh, Productivity Academy Q&A. Uh, today we're going to be covering uh, best time management app and how to manage time to get more done and still enjoy things like traveling. Uh, but real quick, if you haven't, you can head over and click on subscribe uh, if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, stay up to date. If you do that, you just get notifications when um, new Q&As like this are posted, new app reviews, uh, anything like that. So it's an easy way to stay up to date. Um, on Facebook, you can obviously check out the page and join our productivity, uh, real world productivity uh, group, which is just now getting started. I'm uh, going to have some more information coming up on that. So I'll toss the link in for that. All right, and before we get started too, I wanted to mention something that's really important. Uh, you're watching this on your phone or on your PC at home, on you know one of many devices. Uh, and something that's coming up in the US, if you're watching this in the United States, it's really important is the vote with the FCC over net neutrality. And this affects um, uh, just a lot. I don't wanna go into it here. It even has some political issues that I really don't wanna touch because that's not what I deal with here. Uh, but I think it's a very important issue that people need to be aware about uh, that this vote is going to take place and that basically there's uh, rules being tried to be forced through that will negatively impact our ability to um, view what we want to view, how we want to view it, when we want to view it. So I'm including the link here. Please at least check it out so you're aware of this. Um, and if you feel compelled to, please take action uh, against us so that we can maintain uh, the Internet as we know it. All right, so getting back into it, uh, the very first question that I wanted to talk about today uh, as mentioned was the best time management app. So I think that this is a really good one uh, because this is something, to be honest, is fairly recent for me. Until two years ago, I, I think I hadn't ever tried to actually um, track my time in terms of saying like, I'm gonna take a week and like go do that 30 minute breakdown of what I do. And so as far as an app, I'm gonna kind of take this in a different direction and say the best one is like a piece of paper or whatever you're using for your journal for uh, your daily to-dos. Uh, go through and for at least a few days, if you can do it for a whole week, track out your time first. And I think that that is much more effective for several reasons. One, it's forcing you to think about it instead of, you know, I know there's several apps that can like pull in what websites you're visiting, um, you know, where you're spending your time. That I think that's interesting and could be useful. But I think this, if you do it on pen and paper, forces you to be more aware of what you're doing. Um, and then in my mind, it's also like studying, right? The reason a lot of times you can, you know, you take notes, say, during a class and why that's even a thing that people do is because you can learn just by sitting there and listening, right, and absorbing that information. But by the taking notes um, just helps retain that. And I mean, there's all sorts of information that covers that. So I won't go into that, uh, but I will say that I think that taking your time down and saying, okay, maybe every few hours, like every four hours, I go back and fill in. For the you know 30 minute blocks what was i truly doing you know did i spend 20 minutes of that on facebook or you know looking at my phone and then from there go in and start using an app to help you manage your time because i think unless you're fully aware of what you're doing um, i don't think it's helpful to say okay well i'm going to block out my time but then if that's not really how you're using it then to me it's much less effective all right and then the second question for today uh, how do you manage your time wisely so that you are efficient in what you are working on, but can also enjoy things such as travel? Great question. Uh, I think, again, you know, this comes back to time management and planning, okay? So I'll always plug doing a daily review. Um, I think even when you're traveling, you should do this. So, for example, tomorrow uh, I'll be traveling for Thanksgiving, or rather today I'm traveling. Tomorrow I will uh, be on the road and at a different location. I won't be at home and same for Friday and then the weekend comes and what do I do? Well, you know, maybe I don't do my full day's work. I definitely won't tomorrow, but I still sit down and, you know, at, maybe it's a slightly different time, but I pull out my planning. I pull out my to-do list to look over my calendar, make sure, you know, there's no appointments that I forgot to, you know, cancel or there's nothing sneaking up on me and go through the day and say, oh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna take an hour this morning, you know, before it gets hectic, and I did have these two things I wanted to knock out. Maybe, you know, I'm meant to catch up on some reading, and then go through and say, you know what, okay, the rest of the day is for what it needs to be for. And then when you're traveling, you can expand that idea, and say a lot of it, you can plan ahead for that. Hey, if I'm gonna be traveling for a week or two weeks, can I look at that and say, okay, what's realistic for me? Is it realistic that I work eight hours a day, five days a week? Probably not. Can I work? 30 minutes a day, you know, again, probably not realistic. So figuring out what works for you and saying, okay, um, you know, during the weekdays while I'm traveling, I'm going to work in the mornings and put in four hours. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and kind of sketch out how that looks. And then the afternoons, I'm going to know that those are, are mine. Uh, and then you deal with it as you go. And um, part of it is just doing this and saying, okay, now I traveled, what worked, what didn't, incorporate that in the next one and, and iterate on that. But I think sitting down, doing that daily uh, morning review and then planning ahead before your trip and saying, is, it, is this a realistic scenario? Um, will make it much more enjoyable in the sense that you'll actually get things done. And then you'll be able to enjoy that time where instead you won't be thinking, should I have been working during this time? You'll say, nope, I'd already thought about this. I've got my work done and I was focused highly for those few hours and now I'm gonna go enjoy my time while I'm traveling, you know, seeing sites, whatever it is you do. So hopefully that helps. I think that's a, a great plan and, and definitely something you have to work on. And uh, I do have a, a friend and business partner of mine who does a lot of traveling. Um, so maybe I'll have him on the podcast as well and we can talk to him about that now he manages that. I, I'm happy that I can travel for a week or two at a time. He can do like months at a time and does that multiple times per year. So if that sounds interesting to you, leave a comment, let me know. I'll, I'll uh, try to get him on the podcast. So that's it for today. If you're in the United States, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving tomorrow and uh, travel safe, all that. Everyone else uh, have a great rest of your week and I will talk to you soon.